Everybody feels sexy. That is most amazing shoes. So what inspired the name of your label? Um, from the street, fashion street, where I have my first shop. And um, I remember I couldn't think about any name that time. I thought to have a first shop on fashion street, middle of the nowhere, and how can I get the tension to m impress people when they heard the name, they can remember straight away that they won't get, you know, they, they won't forget, and then people are easy to talk about, you know. I, I said, okay, fashion street victim, fashion victim, you know. <laughs> Somehow that did come out. Uh, I thought, yeah, great fashion, you know, victim on Fashion Street. And um, yeah, so I just call it Victim Fashion Street. I came back from Paris and I live in London and work in Portobello for a year, two years, met all these amazing people. And then suddenly I, you know, came to East London, started to do the party. And um, the party is literally very secret because it's only me. I. In, I go to invite every single person I want them to come to my party. So it's very secret and you never know where is the venue, when is the party. And that's why I call it secret rendezvous. It's like secret party. Yeah. <laughs> let's, go, let's go a bit of nostalgia tripping and back to the days of uh, secret rendezvous parties. Well, I can, and then Patrick Wolf, of course, uh, Rachel, who does knitting club, Capital K, who does music. Um, Patrice Sodanstan, who is a, a designer in Sweden, and Henry Viskov. Do you remember, now he's the one of the big designers as well. Uh, Paul Rick Sweeney is extremely doing really, really well. You know, best bag designer now. And I think the rest of them is like, you know, fashion editor or hairdresser, makeup artist, Alex Box, you know, like all the people, everyone that we started from East London in the, you know, 10, when was it? 2000? 1999? Yeah. More. 1998. Yeah. Yeah. 10 years ago. It's incredible. Yeah. And you, Jada, and, yeah. and Noel. <laughs> <laughs> I see the fashion world is quite cutthroat and competitive, but yeah. that scene was very supportive. Yeah, everyone was cheering was. for each other. Yeah. To have all those designers yeah. putting shows on together yeah. and everyone clapping yeah, for each yeah, other yeah. was yeah. really it nice. Was something, yeah, yeah, quite spectacular, you know, photographer and everyone. And it's good to see everyone doing extremely well right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your go shoes. <laughs> Styled by Mayway. Victim <laughs> Fashion Street, but this girl is no victim. <laughs> <laughs> no at all. <laughs> I work most uh, with the shop, more like like small select boutique and you know they have character personality of a boutique that the owner that know what they like and they know like what kind of customer they have. For example, this shop in Tokyo, they only like very cute stuff and mix of very you know a uh, uh, colorful stuff then i would we make particular stuff for them then i have a shop you know in berlin they only like black stuff and i only make black stuff for them and now they show you know like something more sexy then i make more sexy stuff i, see, I look and i see a character and that i can embody it's definitely the the brand name victim is definitely ironic because you don't feel like that when you're yeah. wearing a dress like this no. you feel really beautiful nothing too related to the name Especially this moment, I think fashion changes a lot because people either just want to go for high street and because it's so trendy and fashionable and they would wear once, twice and they throw away. You know, all people who really want to buy something really special and unique and individual and they can wear, you know, for the next 10, 20 years and they don't feel like it's out of fashion and out of the season. So I think fashion is going to like two ways. One is so go completely high street, you know, completely cheap product and just to, to you know, fashion to follow the fa a, a trend. And the other people are going to be more, want to be unique and individual. Yeah. Like, How would you describe this? Paris the Broken Heart. It's our Paris best selling t shirt. Heart. Yeah. Because Paris, it was where I met my love in my life, a love of my life. Really? So actually, you didn't break your heart, but you love. found love yeah. in Paris. 
Um, but Eiffel Tower, uh, Eiffel Tower is my favorite, favorite, um, you know, symbol. So Paris with the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, I love it. That is really cute. It is. It's very comfy yeah. as well. The kind of t-shirt fabric. Really cute. Look at the back. Let me see the back of the shoes. That is um, 10 inch, it must be. Is it? But they're comfortable for such I know, nice shoes. I know, because they're so platform. Shabby. You know, look at my shoes. Um, because I, I wear them every day, all the time. I saw the big, big Union Jet tutu. It's 1920s ever. Oh no, it may be, I can't remember which. 2030s Union Jet addresses to Japan. And uh, when I went to Tokyo one year later, I saw that outfit was on the window of the shop <laughs> in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah. it was, and then, yeah, then I continue making them. So I think recycling old. Uh, Union Jack, it's a part of a uh, signature. And all this, this is the reason more dark color of the dresses we'll be making. Um, something like that. This is a piece Maybe that, that I do exclusive for um, 20 Limit. They collaborate with uh, art, uh, with people who do exclusive pieces for them. Oh my gosh, I love oh, this. this. So, um, it's always very romantic. I think that's one word that I think of. Romantic you. and it could be very punk as well, you know, and very street at the same time. So there's not really a season, there's not really, you know, um, particular style, but if, I don't know. I just make them whatever I see the fabric, what inspired me from the fabric, I think. My favorite shoe designer. Who's the shoe designer? Uh, Natasha Morrow. When I had this shop in Cannabis Street, I rented small downstairs space for her and we were working together, so we do all the show together. And yeah, also she's the one of her from the very, very beginning of Secret Rendezvous. She always comes to the party that time. This is more like um, the first proper show I did in the Cafe, Ro um, Cafe Royal, isn't it? The one in Piccadilly. And the ICA one, the groupie one, the punk one. So this is like all the show that um, I've been doing the last uh, six, seven years. And all made up by Alex Box. That was the theme of Alice Wonderland. And like it's very childish, childlike. So Alex decided to uh, do the, the, the makeup. Like, uh, you know, when you're a little girl and you draw your own face yeah. yourself with the yeah. pen. And I think that's the, the idea. This, this is uh, in the ICA where Patrick Wolf was performing after for, for the party. And um, it was about groupie. That's why Alex made this makeup. It's, it's like unfinished makeup. It's like, you know, when girls party till late night and they go home and then they walk out with their makeup, one missing one. <laughs> you know? Incredible that look all the lace print on the face and the way she did it to go i think oh, yeah. that was one of my favorites yeah i make clothes but i like to work with people who are very artistic and that's why i think for all these years you know for for when i do show i only work with the same people because i believe hairdresser you know he's an artist a makeup artist is artist and when they see my work that they can do anything they want so i don't give a control so it's more like you know they inspire for what they see and then um, i let them to create it, what they want to do instead to say oh i'm a fashion designer so i want to show my clothes please have a simple hair please have a simple makeup for me to work with people who are artists for them to uh, show their you know talent and their creativity somehow and they can and i think that's why you know one thing all this year i still stick with the people that i always work with for the last 10 years and um yeah and i think that's really important and even now you know 10 years to come back to you is something you know it, it, yeah very special it is it is yeah.